Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I am a full-time working mom. I am a remote employee for a professional engineering society. I work a nine to five normal job Monday through Friday. And today I am sharing with you my weekly cleaning routine and kind of how I keep up my household throughout the week. Because I work from home, it makes it very easy for me to get a lot of the household chores done during the work week. And I try to use my lunch hour and breaks that I take away from the screen just if I have like computer fatigue and I just need to take like 15 minutes away from my screen, I will find a small little task like unloading the dishwasher and I will get that done in that time. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone and it's super productive. I also like to break out all of the chores into different days and chunk them out so that I don't feel like I have to do everything in one particular day. So this is Monday, what you're seeing right now. And on Mondays, I love to vacuum and steam mop my floors. For whatever reason, I feel like on a Monday, it just sets the tone for the week. My house feels very clean after the floors have been done and it just puts me on a good trajectory. And this is probably the biggest household like cleaning chore that I do um, just because now we have a lot more space so it takes me a little bit longer to do my floors but once this big task is out of the way it is a weight lifted off my shoulders and it makes me feel super productive. When the lights are out and you so another thing that I religiously do on Mondays is change the sheets on my bed. I do this every single week. I'll usually throw in my dirty sheets on a Sunday into the laundry so that on Monday at whatever point when I have, you know, 15 minutes free, I can go ahead and change the sheets and nothing feels better than the first night you sleep in your clean sheets. And I feel like on Mondays after you've, you know, come back to work after the weekend, it's just the perfect way to end your day in nice clean sheets. So now it is Tuesday and today I am folding my kids laundry. It is never ending and I have been trying my hardest to do their laundry on the weekend or on a Monday and get it folded right away. But I have been letting that basket of clothes just sit there for days. So I was proud of myself that I actually folded all their stuff on Tuesday instead of on like a Friday. <laughs> Later that day, I needed to take a break from my computer screen, so I went upstairs and I changed the sheets on both of my kids' beds. I do this every single week as well, but where I'm very strict with myself and my bed, I like to have clean sheets either on a Sunday or a Monday. With the kids, I'll you know just do it whenever I have free time during the week, so maybe it's a Tuesday like this, or maybe it's a Wednesday or Thursday, um, but it still gets done. I have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Shadow away 
Now that the kids have clean sheets on their bed, I'm taking all of their dirty sheets and towels and I am going to just wash them. And once they're done, I will fold everything up and put it away. Now it is Thursday. I actually had a very busy day with work on Wednesday, so I wasn't able to get any chores done. And that is actually the case most days of the week. Um, some days are busier than others, but on the more quiet days or days that I don't have as many meetings, I do have that, you know, 15 to 20 minutes that I can step away from the computer or during my lunch where I will clean. But in a lot of cases, I am very busy at work and there's no way that I can just be randomly taking breaks to clean. So that's what happened. But today on Thursday, I am cleaning my primary bathroom and it always feels so good when that's done. <laughs> It is Friday and Fridays are usually a lot less busy for me at work and I try to work extra hours earlier in the week so that I can log off a little bit earlier on Friday afternoon. So it was about three o'clock. I had finished all of the work for the week and so I finished the week off strong cleaning my kids' bathrooms. They do have their own bathrooms now but we kind of switch off whose bathroom we use to take baths and stuff like that. So I actually only decided to to clean their bathrooms once every other week so it's not as overwhelming for me and honestly their bathrooms don't get that dirty and most of the time when the kids are home they are downstairs and they use me and Pete's bathroom for the most part so their bathrooms really don't get that dirty and if they do then I can go in and like clean their toilet just really quickly.
All right guys, that's the end of the video. As you can see, I tried to get almost everything done around the house during the work week so that I have no cleaning to do on the weekend and I can spend my time with my family and doing things that I love. I hope this video was helpful so you can see kind of how I break things up into smaller chunks and use my time effectively and productively during the week to maintain my household. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will talk Talk to you in the next one. Bye.